And boys, we're back here with another Madden video. Today, what I got for y'all, um, we did just update this a couple weeks ago, but it's time to talk about the budget cards again. Before we get into today's video, I do want to talk about our sponsor real quick, MMOEXP.com. If you guys want an alternative to buying packs, consider buying coins at MMOEXP and make sure to use code DILLA checkout for 5% off your order. Because I think this lineup has completely changed and I actually think the budget lineup we're about to build is not that far off from the best card at every position because there are so many alike elite budget cards in the game that are potentially like top two at their position. Now, before we get into the first position right here, I want to head over to the Twitter account called Mutt Leaks. A lot of these stocking stuffers right here are going to be 87 overalls, and they're going to be dropping later this week, like Bobby Wagner, and also quarterback, I think is going to be a big one to target, like Matt Stafford, Gardner Minshew, probably going to get those zero AP abilities that we're going to be talking today. Like maybe a zero AP gunslinger on these guys would be crazy. So just even more potential budget cards to add to this lineup. But now we're just going to talk about cards that are in the game and actually quarterback right here at QB1. I think the best possible one you could get was a potential free option, man. I think the B&D Jaden Daniels, I really like this card right here. Good release, 90 speed, 89 throw power, hits the accuracy thresholds, and also this is a card that does not get bad hot route animations. You also can get the gunslinger ability for 4 AP with the lineup we're building today is more than fine. And yeah, I do really like this Jaden Daniels card. Now, I know not everyone got him because I think you had the pre-order of the game to get him. Now, for a budget though, I like Daniel Jones. I like Daniel Jones. The 90 overall as well going under 100k kind of want to keep everything around 100k today he's six foot five 230 89 speed 89 throw power again has that gen 2 release which is i think it's like the definition of mid and like Jaden daniels he can get that gunslinger ability so quarterback i'd have Jaden daniels or i would have daniel jones now running backs where we start to get our first elite option of the video we are going to have 87 overall deandre swift i think this card is the second best running back in the game at this 87 overall and let me explain why 91 speed 90 excel isn't crazy uh 81 catching is actually pretty nice for the running back but this is a card that at the 87 overall go to his tier 2 bucket put zero ap running back apprentice on him which is crazy i mean any quarterback that is in the lineup with swift getting a running back apprentice for zero is awesome to get the running back wheels the angle routes so many ways to attack man and zone with that running back apprentice so deandre swift on the team now we are going to go to fullback right here where i don't think there's like anyone crazy i'm just going to keep a kyle you yet again uh under 100k has good fullback stats like the run block lead block impact blocking I feel like i've been talking about this card a ton recently i think it just does what you think your fullback would do now at receiver we're going all out stock suffers yet again at wide receiver one we're gonna have jerry judy this card is six foot one 92 speed hits 85s across the board for route running 38k and then at wide receiver two we're going to have darnell mooney right here 87 overall again for the same exact reason and at wide receiver three we're going to have t higgins now he's more of a big body a little bit slower but why are all these three cards here well the whole reason they are here is again they get a zero ap ability bucket and whether it's even just run off elite like just running something on these guys just you can run some mid in some mid outs just something on them getting a zero ap ability i just think is so valuable and that's why our wide receiver trio is looking like this you don't even have to upgrade these cards to the 93 to get the ability i think just their base cards these guys can play and i actually really recommend them playing now we are going to go to tight end right here where i went like an all-out receiving option and for me i went ozzy newsom because of the fact that i like his player model he's six foot two 232 small player model gonna cut on routes and and he's going to move more like a receiver than he is a tight end. He's 90 speed, 91 short running, 89 medium, and does hit 70 run block as well. So I don't think the run block is a strength, but it's like 71 run block for a tight end. It's not terrible. So that's why Ozzie Newsom is making the list today. And 123K, it's like... I feel like this is budget in this game. Now we're gonna go ahead and talk about offensive line where offensive line, I'm not trying to spend the most on. And I have a left tackle right here. I'm just gonna go Teron Armstead, the terror, going for 56K. And I think he just has solid stats. 88 pass block power, 90 pass block finesse, 89 run block, I think he can play. At left guard, I'm going to have Elton Jenkins as well. And Elton Jenkins, again, 91 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 89 run block, like that. At center, we are going to go ahead and go Kevin Mawai right here, who, again, Again, under 100k um it's 87 pass block power 88 pass block finesse 90 run block like those uh balance of stats at right guard i'm gonna go ahead and go kevin uh zietler right here who just hits 90 for pass block power pass block finesse and run block again like the balance and at right tackle i'm gonna go ahead and still have anton harrison as well so yeah again 89 pass block power 89 pass block finesse 87 run block i like it and honestly i really 
really like the offense, especially the receiver and the running back with Swift. And I think this gets even better again once the stocking stuff for quarterbacks come out, like getting a Gardner Minshew, getting a Matthew Stafford that could likely get the zero AP um, gunslinger, or even if they don't, just them getting something for zero AP right here is really, really nice. And in total on offense, we covered 13 cards and we spent around 750K, which gave us an average price point of around 59K per position, which well under our budget, right? And defense side of the ball is where we get even more crazy because first off right here, we're going to talk about the secondary and exactly what I would do. And you guys already kind of see what I'm trying to build right here. And I really strongly advise if you are building a no money spent budget team right now, it's a great time to do it. Expect especially on the defensive side of the ball where you can get some elite budget cards that are actually going to make a difference. Now we're going to cover a bunch of pieces in the secondary because I think you're going to see a weakness with this team. First up, we're going to have Christian Benford outside corner, six foot one, 90 speed, 88 zone. We want to hit that 87 level of zone because if these 87 corners hit 87 zone, they get mid zone knockout. So we want mid zone knockout on as many people as possible. Christian Benford gets it for zero AP. We love that. At CB2 right here, we are going to go ahead and go Deron Bland, 87 stocking suffer again six foot 91 speed 90 excel 87 zone another mid zone knockout for zero player cb3 i'm gonna go ahead and go riley moss again six foot 91 speed 91 excel 87 zone mid zone knockout zero ap now we actually are going to cover a cb4 today where we are going to have andrew phillips 90 speed 90 excel 87 zone and we have four mid zone knockouts for zero ap i think you can play these cards wherever you want in your secondary these are our knockout players and i Honestly, if you're in a defense like 3-4 odd or 6-1, these are your secondary players, like these four. Now, we have some other ones I do want to cover, and I want to talk about it. So, free safety right here. I'm honestly just playing him at free safety because we kind of ran out of corner spots, but Asante Samuel Jr., 5'10", so a little bit shorter. I like the shorter players at safety if we're going to use them. Um, 91 speed, 91 excel, 87 zone, another mid-zone knockout for zero player. So, to in total right now, we have five mid-zone knockouts for zero AP. And rounding out our secondary right here, we're going to play another play uh, player out of position we're going to play zion mccollum right here at as a safety spot six foot two and just like his core ratings i think he needs to play 92 speed 91 excel this card could get pick artist for zero ap just the 87 he can't get the mids of knockout but i think these six pieces in the secondary need to play and this is why a defense like dollar or like dime one four dime two three sam like you name it bunch of people run these popular defenses and i think they're extremely runnable especially with these budget cards like this and another piece on the secondary that I honestly would play this card as a sub linebacker. We're going to have Malik and this card is five foot 10, 90 speed, 91 XL. He doesn't get mid zone knockout on the safety he would need 89 zone, but he can potentially get the pick artist as well. So pretty much we have a bunch of zero AP abilities right here. And I think Malik is going to be a great sub linebacker for you. You can sub him in, in game. And I think these cards right here just have to play like this is the exact secondary I would build basically all the 87 zero chill stocking stuffers. Now let's talk about the front side right here we're at left outside linebacker we're gonna have a pass coverage player that is just decent in my opinion it's gonna be say gun lobby right here 88 speed 88 acceleration has good zone coverage and a lurk artist for one player not that bad he can play and at right outside linebacker right here this is actually one of my favorite pass rushers it's gonna be odefa owe he has 91 speed 92 acceleration which is just great off the edge um he does have a little bit lower finesse moves but he only has that bull rush trade on yes meaning he's not gonna use finesse moves he's only gonna use his 87 power moves and i feel like him in like a dollar like one four off the edge he can cause some problems man he can definitely play now for middle linebacker we're gonna go randy uh Grazar right here and this card is six foot three so has good 90 speed 92 acceleration the zone is low but this is a card that can get the lurk artist so i think he can make up a little bit for lower zone potential user player as well and at middle linebacker two i went troy anderson right here um troy anderson six foot four 88 speed 88 excel 86 zone coverage as well and you can kind of see like the reason malik's on the team malik is 100 times better than all the potential sub linebackers we got i'd probably go malik and randy as our two sub linebackers if you only had two but obviously in a defense like three four odd i I think you, you kind of need all these guys now we're going to round out the defense with front seven at left end right here guess what guess what we're going to do we're going to go calais campbell stocking suffer yet again because this is a zero ap ability player it, it really doesn't matter i think he needs to play and it's not like he has bad pass rush stats it's really not that bad he gets a zero ap ability like you can run run stopper on him and no outsiders or goal line stuff things that i think can definitely make a difference so calais campbell is going to be our guy at left end at right end right here we're going to play someone out of position and just think about the pieces on defense right now we haven't spent any ap and 
We have abilities at almost every single spot. Like one AP on Sagun for Lurk Artist, potential one AP Lurk Artist on Randy as well. So much AP to spend. And one of the places we can spend it, why not mark gas now? Let's go double or nothing. Let's go a potential um, Blitz X Factor as well. Mark gas now is an ability player for us. And I think you can use them however you want. Then a DT, again, we're going to have another stocking stuffer right here. We're going to have 87 Jalen Carter, 83 speed, 91 acceleration, 90 block shit, 88 power moves at the 87. I mean, his core ratings are phenomenal at the 87. And like Calais Campbell can get things like the run stopper, can get the goal line stuff. Like he can be a zero AP ability player for us yet again. And that that's why he's here and rounding out the defense we're gonna go ahead and have deforce buckner right here rounding out the defense right out that 100k six foot seven 295 81 speed 80 acceleration 88 finesse moves and he only has the swim move trade on yes meaning he's not going to use power moves and i just like the finesse rushers on the inside like a lot of times offensive linemen have lower pass block finesse compared to pass block power and i think that leads to cards like deforce buckner playing really really well and yeah this is what the defense side of the ball is looking like pretty much main thing is stocking stuffers zero ap abilities and in total on defense we covered 15 cards and we spent around 760k which gave us an average price point of around 50k per position which is like even less than what we spent on offense these stocking stuff for cards are absolutely elite i could not be higher on some cards because again the zero ap abilities now let's go ahead and round out special teams right here kicker gonna be chris boswell highest kick power you can get this can be a potential elam spot for you and at punter you can go ahead and rock aj cole as well and yeah, less than 50k per position on average. And I think the defense is actually really, really good. Like getting all the mid zones everywhere. You could go pick artists. Hell, you can make this lineup even better when you incorporate the fact that if you play AKA solos, if you play legend solos, you can get some BND cards to where it's like, okay, you don't have to run these linebackers or you don't have to run maybe this quarterback. You know, like you don't have to run this tight end. You can make this lineup even 100 times better, but 50k per position on average and you build this good of a team, Zero Chill has brought a lot of budget cards too. And I, I, I literally was on stream and people were just saying this game is pay to win right now. These cards, these 87 overall cards are elite. Like they are so good. Getting zero AP mid zone, getting the knockout abilities on these guys give you chances to just play things that otherwise they wouldn't. I couldn't be higher on budget cards. And as much as people want to say like, if, if this game is pay to win right now, I think there are so many elite budget cards. This is the best a budget team has looked in I don't know how long. Like, this lineup is amazing. Like, you can win with the, you can easily win Gauntlet with this lineup. Easily. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on this team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, man. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Madden 25 Ultimate Meme content just like this. Now, if you guys do want to go and see me use these cards live on stream, have been streaming on both YouTube and Twitch to watch on YouTube. Make sure to hit the noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you guys want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.